I need a kidney because of polycystic kidney disease. I met Dennis through our cafe, and he and his wife had been customers, and they came and sat down. They were very upset about news that they had just found out, and I, you know, I said to them, "Hey, you guys, all right?" And they were like, "No, you know, Dennis has, you know, got this problem, and he needs a new kidney." She says, "You know, I'll donate a kidney to you." How are you? I'm doing great. I had to tell my husband. I said, uh, "By the way, I, I'm donating my kidney to the guy over there," and he looks up at me and says, "Okay." To know that you had a donor. That was willing to help you is a pretty phenomenal thing. During this process, we found out that Dennis was a difficult match, and I did not match him. What a trip that was! It's hard to believe. I was highly sensitized. The only way I was going to get a kidney was to go through a chain. So the doctors explained to me that I could donate to a person that I matched directly, and then, in turn, Dennis would receive a kidney from someone that was an exact match for him. And I said, all right, I, I have no problem with that. We waited for this chain to develop for us. I was very determined not to give up, and uh, the chain started to form. We got the call, and they said, we've got the kidney. I'm here to see Marie. This is working out really well. A few days away, and they said, the chain is broke down. It was like somebody just punched me in the stomach and took my breath away. Hello, Marie. How are Dennis, you? Dennis, how are you? I'm doing so fine. Nice to see but you. We, we stay positive. I haven't seen you in a while. And that would bring us into the next chain. Eventually, oh, you know, we got yeah. the call. I had, a, I had to totally trust you guys. And all of a sudden, boom. And it finally, finally happened. Maureen, on my behalf, donated her kidney to somebody else in exchange for another donor. And out of that, I received his kidney. His brother received the kidney from somebody else. And this just kept repeating itself. And that's why they call it a chain. Our chain was eight people. He actually got his kidney from Philadelphia and my kidney went to New York. Being a recipient, I have two donors. Dennis and I always looked at it as, no matter what, I'm donating for you, on your behalf. I don't care where the kidney goes. As long as it's gonna help someone and this is going to help you, I really didn't care. I could have cared less where that kidney came from, just as long as it was a good kidney. I got a grandchild now. <gasps> Do you have pictures? Oh, yes. has pictures. That's his first oh, haircut. He's so cute. I went out there and witnessed the birth and no dialysis. <laughs> Everybody won. Everybody got something out of this, which is a very beautiful thing. It's very moving and humbling. It was pretty amazing. That approach Check this guy out. saved my life. In the long run, oh you know, it does work. You did take good care of me. Maureen, the registry, the transplant center, Hung in here. a person that I don't even know personally. I'm extremely thankful for that.